My name is Ambika Bum, and I am the CEO of Bicanta, where we are developing nano diamonds that will redefine what can be done with medical imaging. The killer in cancer is metastases. The earlier we can detect those cells, the better it is for the patient's prognosis. Unfortunately, today there are limitations with the technology, particularly in optical imaging, with regards to signal loss, toxicity, or high background issues. So what we are doing at Picanta is solving those problems using nanodiamonds. Nanodiamonds are microscopic diamond dust. What makes them fluorescent are these defects that have been created within the carbon grid. The way we create these color centers within the diamond structure is we first bombard them with a high energy source that kicks out a carbon. We then bake them in extreme temperatures and that causes a vacancy to migrate and settle near a nitrogen, creating this color center that then gives us the ability to image them. Raw diamonds are tricky materials. They have a lot of issues with aggregation and they're difficult to do chemistry with. By collaborating with the National Institutes of Health, we have developed a robust method to coat and stabilize this material and make it easy to work with. So what we have done at Vicanda is make the nano diamond surfaces customizable. They can be tightly bound to any targeting agent, such as antibodies, to be taken up by particular types of cells, including cancer. The nano diamonds are essentially miniature flashlights that can be directed to shed light on different biological structures or pathways. The nano diamonds also have a second property where they are sensitive to magnetic fields. So typically their signal is very steady, but when they come into the presence of a magnetic field, that signal intensity will decrease. So if we have a magnetic field that is turning on and off, we can cause a diamond signal to also fluctuate or blink. And we can use signal processing methods to pull that blinking signal out to then reduce background. Essentially what this all translates to is, is we can get better signal to noise ratio and we image deeper into tissue. We've already shown in our early studies a hundredfold increase over conventional methods. And one way we've displayed this is trying to image lymph nodes in a mouse model. With conventional methods, a low concentration wasn't visible, but when we move that same mouse or patient into our magnetically modulated imaging instrumentation, that lymph node shined through like a beacon. Bicanta's vision is to redefine the boundaries of medical diagnostics by delivering novel nanodiamond probes and background-free imaging instrumentation. The potential of nanotechnology in the near term is that it will help us to better study disease. In the long term, the impact of nanomedicine is going to be that it will empower the clinician to address disease at the cellular level.